Right, good evening everybody. I'm saying evening because it's way past nine o'clock, I think. <laughs> Probably ten o'clock. Yeah, um, I do apologise for not getting back to those that I said I would get back to regarding billing them for the fabrics and that. Uh, but it was my sister night chat tonight. We have it twice a week, Tuesday nights and Saturday nights. And so I've been chatting online with them and I'd forgotten about it to be honest. I was sat watching something with Raymond and I went, what time is it? And he went, it's 20 past some, nine I think he said. And I went, Jesus, I'm late. We start talking at eight. <laughs> so I did get on to chat with them. So while my glue gun's heating up, I'm going to share a little project with you. And first of all i'm going to run through the things it is a fabric book um when i say a fabric book it's going to be a, a stick pin book to hold these stick pins now we do sell these stick pins and we sell lots of others we sell these in packs of 50. we have a luxury kit which is in a case and i think there's only one of those maybe two of those left so if you want them go grab them but we do uh, economy sets as well for people, you know, these are the luxury ones. Um, th there's a luxury one in a box, then there's this one. And it's uh, what Tatty put together. And you get bags of beads, bags of crystals and bags of uh, spaces and that. Along with um, a dozen stick pins. And we also have the economy sets, which I put together. Uh, for those, those, you get the bead caps, the uh, crystals, the pearls and the stick pins but a smaller proportion of them so you get those and they're really worth buying and investing in so with this project I've got I'm doing it it's like a wine come pink like a rose pink so I've got this feather feather trim which I found I tried to get everything that matched uh, some of the flowers, the these pinky ones and these darker pink ones, might, I might use them. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to use all of it. That photograph, that picture, it's on canvas, so I'll be able to put that in. There's the back page and the front page in the wadding. I'm using this from the shop. Like I say, we sell all of this trim. It's coming apart, look. <laughs> I don't like it when it does that. Never mind. So um, this is, I love these, we, set, we have this in different colours and you can cut them up. So you can snip this off and cut them up and use them individually. I use them as borders and all sorts. So we've got that. We've also got the wine colour. We have this in every colour. Gold, blue, white, red, uh, cerise, pink, cream. And uh, it's gorgeous. That's the right way, the shinier way. See how dull that is compared to that? But it makes fantastic flowers. This is one of my all-time favourite laces to make flowers with. So, and edging. Because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate the book yet. Then I've got this. Now, this doesn't come out very often. <laughs> and this is the last of what I've got. And it's a vintage, beautiful, beautiful vintage lace. So, I may, I've got a big piece there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might just put a border across the front of the book. And therefore we're using that piece. Beautiful, isn't it? So, we'll see. I, I do use it very sparingly. Then, um, trimmings. I've got the cottons, obviously, to work with. I will be adding bits of silver with it. And I've got these. We did sell them in the shop. This is my collection. Leaves. We'll see. I'm not saying I'm going to use them, but I did have those with... We've got this trim, which matches. Uh, that's a double satin. We've got this, which is a single satin for a contrast colour, because it's pinks and like a rose pink and wine. And we've got that one, which again is a double... I think is it double? No, single satin. So we've got that one. We've got a mixture of flowers. I've also made that centre. So it's got the colours in that I'm after. And lots of little flowers. And these. Again, I showed you about those earlier. Rolled ribbons. We've got some of these. 
and I've got another one of them, so I had it is. Got it here. So some of those, some pink beads, bobble beads, got a cameo. I've got a butterfly that I did a long time ago, but the colours match. We've got these clusters, which I've got a video out showing you how to make them. That, that's those. And then I've got a selection of these bows. Really easy. So we've got those. And then we've got the stars. Flower stars. Got some little bling in case I want to put some bling on anything. Got some pink chain. So that's that beads and that to do a dangle another one of those in pink got some bling of course using the pinks and the um see that's got the reddish wine color in and then just some blingy bits in the bottom and some vintage it was a vintage necklace but i can take bits off it if i choose to do so We've got some of the velvet ribbon. The book itself is going to be uh, wine velvet. Call it right coloured thread. Silver keys. A little bit more ribbon because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I do need to get some bead caps to fit that, which I'll go and do in a minute. Um, the fabric for the inside of the book. And this is the velvet for the outside. Now, I'm going to be doing some more of the fabric pack, uh, packs tomorrow. And I do have enough to do about three with this velvet. It is absolutely beautiful. And we used to sell this, but this is off my own stash. So that's the outside of the book. And all I need now is to go and get... Um, I needed the bead caps. I won't be a minute. Right, I'm just going to search through here because I'm sure I put some bead cap. There we are. Some bead caps here yesterday. I need another two if I can get hold of them. Whoops. And now I put some in here. Somewhere. So I'm just going to move the dish from the side of me. I need the fabric, of course. Let's see if there's anything in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a nice bead though, isn't it? Look at that. No, I'm not going to use it. No, no, no. Okie dokie. Right, I think we're ready and the glue gun's on. So, um. And I did get this out again, because I, I could put that on. I may do, I may not. Not sure at the moment. So I'm just going to put everything to one side. I'm going to need this and then make sure you can see. Put them to one side, flip, oh, move over there. Right. I need this one first. So what you do is put the um, book cover that way. Now that you can say I've used this before um, on something. Now I don't want to waste this fabric because it is nice. So we're just gonna put it like that take hold of the wadding and we're just going to it's not quite straight is it so I'm going to straighten that up it doesn't have to be perfect and put that like that That's a bit thicker. I want them about the same width, obviously. Don't waste those bits, you shred them and put them in for stuffing. 
Right, so we're going to do that. Now I'm going to move this up as much as I can. Make sure I've got room top and bottom. And then the fabric's going to go in the middle there. Take hold of this. Again, you only need it so that it touches the sides. Like that. Now, you might not be able to see this. Let me just... Yeah, you can see the edge. It's a, the light's not very good, but I was supposed to do this video earlier. So I'm just going to pull this to one side. And <coughs> with the glue, you just... You do if you've got glue sticks, mate. <coughs> Draw a line with your glue as far down as you can. Put your fabric over and push down onto that so you get a straight line. <coughs> like that pull that back and push your wadding close up to it like that pull this back remember it's got to go fit it jut up towards that edge oops Don't worry about any of it. If it comes out, doesn't matter, fit it back in. Like that. Fold that over. Pull on it. And just do that. So that's snuck in that centre. Push that up there as well. Make sure you get these about the same. Pull this back. And you can do the top if you want to. The top of this. But I generally just like to do this section. like that fold that over and push pull it and push and that's nice and secure and then you can cut it because you've got an edge there you're going to have, have an edge here as well and then like you say you've got a book that's the way I'm going to have mine just going to trim this down a little bit more. Okay. Now, these can all make um, ties and whatnot. So, what we need now is the. Where did I put it? I'm going to have it like that. I want the lace. And I'm going to use this lace to start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lace on the outside. And I'm going to put it flat. It really doesn't matter, but I want it flat. Shiny side down like that. So I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm just going to, oh God, this glue gun eats glue. Wow. <coughs> Dropped it on there now. So we just need to pop it on there like that. I'm going to pull that back. Pop some glue around that edge. 
and then what I'm going to do is to pinch it around the edge pinch it together and that will help you going round because I want to keep the fabric um, flat and in order to do that you do have to pinch some of this into the I need my little glue uh, you know my finger glue thing to stop me burning myself I would have been more prepared but uh, too much on anyway so we're doing that this bit here I'm just going to trim off like that and that bit of glue there because it's just oh, it's a nightmare yes I know I've got the new glue gun but I'll sort it out eventually so we just get back up to this corner now leave that flat like that see how pretty it's going to look that's why cutting it doesn't matter if you make the odd mistake we're going to glue around the corner pulling this in just giving it little tucks like that and we're going to continue going across here like that I'm also going to continue onto this sec uh, section try and keep it as uh, straight as you can like that again pulling this back that's why you leave a flap you know this section um, which is a fair amount because you want to be able to gather it on the corner and it has to have something to grip onto like that but see how it lays flat Again, we're at the corner <clears throat> now any mess because it's see-through um, organza any mess you see you can cover that with um, braiding and I've got the pink ribbon that's just eating a whole stick of glue because this is going to be pink and wine but you see how this lays flat and then we just cut this and stick that down that will do there and look how nice that is now it's gone from being what just a little bit of um oh what do you call it 
fabric. Right, I don't need that just yet. But I've got this that I'm going to cover it with. I don't have the braid. I've got the velvet, but I'm going to put this on first. So we're going to do exactly the same again. This is the bottom section. I'm going to put that on top. Make sure I get the uh, right way. And just use the top of the lace as a guide. of where to put your edging right now what I'm going to do here is we release those two sections there okay now that can glue down sorry hoping you can see it I've released I've cut these two here So we take the, ignore that, you put in that there and you put that there and you just tuck that there. So you've got a continuation. So you just tuck in that and tuck in that. Put a little tick, uh, tuck in it. And then this bit will lay flat. I'll show you that again in case you missed it because I think I was off the edge of the page. So just follow the line of the lace. Which keeps that all in where it's supposed to be. Okay, now we get into the corner. So what you do is you release that one, see where the corner is, this corner bit. Forget about that, the flower, you're just sorting this out, this. So we're going to make sure this fits, nip that in that section there and then knit that in that section there and lay that flat because the braid that's going to go on top will cover this section here okay and then oops just put that there so we hold that back don't know why my scissors keep moving. I haven't moved them. Oh. Again. Just pull that down a little bit. Isn't that pretty? So we're back to the corner and this is the corner piece so we release that and we release it that side okay so then we just want to glue that bit make sure these two fit that corner snip that and pinch it that's what i mean when i say that just pinch it so it fits in the corner And that will lay flat like that I'm covered in glue hmm. that will do that's fine like I say it doesn't have to be perfect right 
and then we just do this side oops daisy like that now what's that bit of loose thread Again, we're back to this corner. We're going to release that one and that one. Glue that around on the edge. So that's the one that's been released. You're more or less starting that again and just pinch it. like that that'll do that's fine and then oh god just more or less fits perfect doesn't it look at that for a fit that down and pinch that across there yep that's fine great like that so I'm going to take the velvet let me just get rid of this fabric now this lace now I've done that so we'll just do that oh it's all unwound on the reel Never mind. Move that out of the way. And then, like I say, I've got this velvet, which the colour fits perfectly. And all I'm going to do is to make sure... I'm not sure if that glue's going... You just do that. You've got to the corner. And we should just ease that in. So we're just going to do that. And then just kind of like ease it in but pinching it. Ever so slightly. You always lift it up and pinch it in. This is going to have a flower on here, so don't fuss about it whatsoever. I've got glue all over my fingers, that's getting onto there. Let me get this glue off. Right. Hey, so you do have to take time yourself, some time to do these. Give yourself some plenty of time I mean I'm rushing mine but That just finishes the edges off really neatly. Again, it's just a matter of pinching it into place. Mm. 
like that. Down to this section. I mean, if any comes off, you just go back and uh, fill it in. It should be fine. Pinch, pinch and pinch. Three pinches should do it. Just lift that back and pull it onto there. Like that. That looked gorgeous. One, two, three. And then we finish on this section here. And I'm just going to overlap it. But before I overlap it, I'm going to turn it onto itself. Like that, so there's no edge that can fray. And then we can lay that down like so. Yeah. That's a nice, neat edge. Right, like I say. You can go around, take all the excess glue off and things like that, but let's have a look. Yeah, that seems all right. That gorgeous. That, in fact, it wouldn't that make a nice pillar? Could have changed that into a pillar, couldn't I? Right, now what I'm going to do is um, just trim this off where I can. Just where I might think it's a bit bulky. That's it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do the same on the inside with the lace. So, let's just say we need that twice with one, two, uh, with you know for the pleats then that twice one oh. <clears throat> two with that for the pleats hopefully that's enough there we go let's do that
and then I'm going to cut that just there flip that back and there you go so when we close that up now look isn't that gorgeous now we've got to do it that way because the velvet that's it if I do it that way it's rough if I do it that way it's smooth now we can have this I'm gonna have this this way this time so you're opening it up and you've got your pin cushion like that but before I do any more I need to make a fastener so what I'm going to use I think what I'm going to do is to mix in some of the ribbon I don't like that colour it's a bit too bright if you know what I mean okay so I'm going to need to make one right so I'm going to burnish this ribbon at the end we're going to make a fastener for it bend that over like that and I need to get some uh, velcro so just bear with me I have it here we do sell this so let's just make sure this is nice and straight and that so we need to put those two together and I'm just going to cut a decent sized strip which is this and it should be the same size it is okay so I'm now just going to glue this push that in like that push it down so this edge is out you know that you can see this edge and then when it's on you can't see it properly right and that is going to go on there so just gluing that up and then that is going to fit just there like that don't worry if you can see it or anything because we're, we're going to cover that and then what's going to happen is we're going to put this on here so I need to cut that at least there I'm going to burnish that end we're going to do the same thing with this one which is to cover that we're going to fold that over like that and then we're going to glue this down oh, I've just dropped that glue it needs to dry Wow, you need it to dry to get it off like that, otherwise it will mark it, Just let that dry and I can peel it off, oops a daisy, see it's got to go like that, that's it, so we're going to have it like that and then when you want to open it this has to be glued down I know that Let's hold that on like that Oops. now what I'm going to do with this piece that I cut off that's the perfect size to do a flower 
so I need my needle and thread. I haven't got enough thread on that. And we've got matching thread. So I'm going to use this. Join the two ends together. Oops, a daisy. Like that. Really hard to work with a colour thread you can't see. this I can't see a damn thing oh how have I done that that's it pull it in that'll do not a problem finger and thumb even it out and then what I'm going to do is to glue that onto there like that straight onto there like that now I'm going to use the same fabric here what do you think the same lace I mean to let me do one two three four five six six of these I think so I'm just going to cut them I know we've got this uh, this particular one in different colors and um, whoops and we've got this lace this burgundy lace in different colours lots of colours to be honest right so now it might be better if I put the central thing in first let me just see what I've got I had the one I made didn't I this one is a nice bright colorful one so I'm just going to pop that on first oh sorry that's my stomach I do apologize because it's got all the colors in the pinks and the burgundies make sure I get this the right way around just putting a little bit of glue on the leaves and then what I'm going to do is to tuck it in like that 
so it all blends in together. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That's really come on nice, hasn't it? And so, let's have a look, see what we've got. Have we got four of those? Maybe not. Maybe we have. We have. We've got those for the corners. That'll do nicely. So, you see? We don't fuss about the corners because we can cover them. We can cover them when we've used the glue up. <laughs> Not. You just cover them up like that. I don't generally put anything on the back because you don't really see it, do you? And I don't like waste. But um, inside, now let's see if we can open this now. Yeah. Just open it like that. Inside there, I need to put a pocket. And it needs to be a broad enough pocket. Like that. So, let me just see. I know what I'm doing. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Maybe that's the wrong... Yeah, that's too pink, that one. These are the colours we're using. This matches. So, I'll just burnish that. And we have to do... Fold that over like that. So if our pocket's gonna oh I've dropped it on there, never mind. We can do a band here. So that can go in there and then it needs to go there with that much. Pop on the velvet there, like that. I'm just going to try and glue the velvet. Just so it glues them two pieces together, like that. And then... like that and that gives a nice pocket like that I'm going to take some more of this fabric at uh, this lace and we're going to add that to there which will help I'm just going to quickly glue a bit of this in just fold it in on itself just to give neat edges that's all like that and that one 
So that will go there and that will fold. Perfect fits. Perfect. So I've just folded that in and then I've run that just underneath. Like that. Perfect. Yeah. And what I'm going to do as well, I think I'm just going to put another row of that velvet on. Sorry, I hope you have been able to see all of this. But, uh, hopefully. I'm just going to put that on top of there and that's going to go to there okay now we're going to do that make sure that fits like that and then where did I put that chain? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I forgot we've got that to go on, haven't we? Oops, sorry, Joey. Yeah, so I've got these to go on. And that's just going to sit right there in the middle. Like that. Just put that under. I don't want it to soak through like that we've got the butterfly to fit on which I think will just go there now do I want to do this or not let me just see uh, yeah I think the butterfly should just be glued on there to be honest Just like that. Because it is part of the book. We need to take some of these. Hang on, I need to put something on that side there. Let me just look. Um. That one's better. I'm just going to put these on here at an angle like that. So we've got them there that looks okay there that's fine these are glued in Put that away. that's okay now and we don't want that out right so then what we're going to do is to See what we've got in here. So here's our stick pins, which need to go there. And this is a bag of goodies. See? So they can go in there because they're to make up your stick pins. And let me just think. Let me just think might just be able to do this because I think really keeping that on there and you just put your stick pins in will be better than leaving them on the fabric so I'm just going to alter this and 
and put that in the middle like that oops again I didn't burnish it and I should have done oops let me just make sure to sort this out Oh, them scissors aren't sharp anymore. So, we just burnish the end. I'm pulling it tight. And I'm just going to glue that over there like that. So, at least that's covered. And you will be able to put your stick pins in and know that they're safe. I'm going to put them that way. So, I'm just going to glue that section in. I'm going to put them there. So, there's plenty of room. Okay, and then to that, I can get rid of the scrons. Again, I can use. the flower this just ties in doesn't it literally just ties in with what you need everything's working everything's colour coordinated so we can pop that one on there like that which is decoration right and we need to, oh we didn't do that did we Mm, I'm not doing that fabric do you know what shall I just do the ribbon on the inside I think I'll just do the ribbon on the inside to be honest and then put the um, velvet on let me just see this fabric the lace to go over the edges because I wanted some of the ribbon showing so that'll go over there yeah yeah that'll do No, I don't need that. Right, so I've got the packet in, in a pocket that I've done. We've got the stick pins, 
all you do is take them out there put them back in the decoration I'm leaving the ribbon like that um, could do with something here I need to find the braid that matches that that color and if I can find it I'll put it on so so far we do that that goes back on there doesn't matter which way you have it but what's missing yes I think I'm going to use a bit of this trim my poor trim <laughs> I actually think that that should go on there should it let me just see I might have to take this off let me just even get it off if you don't put a lot of glue on things you can get them off you know and then when you've got it right you can glue it up to the, the hilt right I want to put this on like a band across there I do I, I like that I think it needs that band so now I need to glue this back on so what I'm going to do to put that back on there oh sorry like that eater of glue okay let's get this right that just needs to go back there and then we're going to take this round to the back and I think we're going to cover that so that doesn't come off. Yes, I think I will. We'll just cover that. That will help support that and make sure it doesn't come off. Okay. And then take the velvet again put that over there to there and that will really protect it really protect that right but it doesn't have to be underneath it it can be on top the only reason why it was on here was because of the flower that's fine I'm happy with that right so we've got that band on there I'm not bothered about it being loose 
at all. Let me just see if there's a bit of use we can have for this. Hmm. No. No, I don't want to ruin it. Right, so let's have a look. See what else we can do. So we've got that. Like that. What else is there? Now, let's see of the decoration. We've got some bits of bling that I want to be able to use. So, let's have a look. You know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. One, two, no, I know, because we don't have to have them. This I'm going to do this, because it will hold down um, the fabric. I'm going to put one like that. Okay, we're going to have one like that for decoration only and we're going to have one like that just for decoration only I've got my ribbon I'm not sure if I can do this. Where's my big needle? Let's have a look, see if that goes through. Yes, it does. Will it go through that one? Yes, it will. Okay, dokie. Let's have a look. Put that through. I'm going to go. Oh, don't tell me you. Yes, it will. Go through that, Th through that, through the bead cap. Yeah, that's got a bead cap on it like that. And then through there. And then, oops, let me get this back on here. Strands of stuff everywhere. Just some small. They might not. Oh, they won't fit. Hmm. Well, that's a bugger, isn't it? We can't do that then. Let me just see what else I've got that we can do it with. Um. Hang on. Let's go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. We can. Oh, that is that gold. I don't want gold. I want silver. silver isn't it where's that bead not sure if that'll work hmm we can do that and then here's a bead oh please go through doesn't want to go through will it go through without the ribbon yes so it might go through if I pull it <coughs> I'll probably break my needle now no I don't want to do that it won't go Unfortunately, it won't go, so. See if it'll go through there. Nope. Oh, 
I wonder if it will go through if I pull it like that and then quickly pull that through. So what I've done is I've made the charm. I thought that it was filming it actually. I'll show you in a minute. I need to move that across. That's it. Let me just sort this out. Like that. Unfortunately, I did get a bit of the glue on there, but hey ho. I'm going to rectify that by adding a gem. So I've got a gem here, and that will fit in there like that. So that will hide that bit. We've now got a dangle on here and what I've done with that is to add two of the flowers together, thread the beads onto the ribbon, see like that, put the bead caps on, added the beads that I want and now look, it's finished. I'm just going to get rid of all the glue. I will sort that out in the morning when I can see it right now it's getting a little bit dark but there you go oh what have I done there what glue on that as well I'll get it off it all peels off but yeah and that's my little project I've got this wrong colours unfortunately uh, but that looks all right on there look it's got a little gem That's gone. Fitted on with that. I think that's quite nice. Like that. It's got everything you need inside. Little packet of stuff. Yeah. That's it. handmade flower everything handmade lovely color lovely velvet and this trim this velvet will be uh, available in the kits tomorrow when I do the fabric kits that's it thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now